Antrian panjang para nasabah Silicon Valley Bank terjadi di sejumlah kantor cabang di penjuru Amerika Serikat. Kolapsnya bank terbesar ke-16 di Amerika Serikat itu juga menguatkan desakan regulasi perbankan. Berikut laporan selengkapnya dari tim VOE. Antrian panjang tampak di cabang Silicon Valley Bank di penjuru Amerika Serikat dan di kantor pusat di Santa Clara, negara bagian California. Uh, we didn't have any problem in terms of payroll and all those type of things. But still, uh, there is still stress and there is a lot of communication internally that needed to happen uh, to relieve that stress. Uh, yesterday, the, the information coming from uh, the Fed really relieved everybody in the valley and even more us that we will have less issue accessing the funds. Nasabah bank yang telah kolaps dan diambil alih regulator ini, banyak di antaranya adalah pekerja dan pemilik usaha rintisan di sektor teknologi. Uh, it's interesting as a CEO there's a, a network of people that you know have very similar uh, situations so there's a lot of text messages of facts and, and emails going back and forth um, and people just figuring out what they're going to be able to do Sebelum kepastian diperoleh dari regulator federal banyak pemilik usaha rintisan sempat cemas And we were just in the process of starting to raise our next round so we were just starting to talk to investors as this happened so that's the other crazy thing the company could not be doing better but somehow this was going to effectively put us out of business overnight. I mean, just, it's unthinkable. Ambruknya SVB lalu Signature Bank di New York menguatkan sorotan pada regulasi sektor perbankan, terutama bank regional atau bank kecil, yang sebelumnya diatur pasca resesi akbar 2008 oleh Undang-Undang Dodd-Frank. The bill is passed. The Dodd-Frank Act that was enacted in 2010 uh, in response to the prior really big financial crisis actually took specifically the approach uh, to systemic risk that was supposed to prioritize this sort of prospective. Pada 2018, pemantauan ketat seperti diatur dalam Dodd-Frank diperlonggar. And guess what? SVB, Signature, um, they had below $250 billion in assets. So regulators have a lot less discretion and fewer tools to come to smaller banks like that and really start kind of scrutinizing um, how how safe they are, how resilient they are, and how much systemic risk they do or do not pose. Presiden Joe Biden pun saat berupaya meyakinkan warga AS akan keamanan sistem perbankan Amerika juga mendesak Kongres memperketat regulasi. Apapun langkah Kongres selanjutnya, setidaknya langkah Bank Sentral AS dan juga regulator federal dalam menangani kolapsnya dua bank secara berturut-turut ini Yakui telah menenangkan nasabah dan juga pelaku sektor perbankan dan juga bisa mencegah meluasnya penarikan dana secara besar-besaran terutama di antara nasabah bank relatif kecil. Dari Washington DC, saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.